Water and air constantly interact with each other through winds. Winds transfer momentum and energy across the sea's surface caused by air. Wind refers to the natural movement of air or other gases relative to a planet's surface. The wind occurs at various scales, from thunderstorm flows that last a few minutes to local breezes generated by the heating of land surfaces and lasting for several hours to global winds that result from the difference in solar energy absorption among the different climate zones on Earth. Waves and currents are formed on the surface of the sea and ocean due to this transfer of energy and momentum. Actually, the friction between the wind and the surface of the water causes wind-driven waves or surface waves. Thus, the continuous disturbance created by wind blowing across the ocean surface or a lake creates a wave crest. Waves of this type can be observed worldwide in the open ocean and along the coast. What is the difference between the surface current and waves? Waves do not travel through water. If waves are not obstructed by anything, they can travel across entire ocean basins, transmitting energy rather than water. But surface currents usually transfer water mass into the sea and ocean from one point to another point. What are the characteristics of waves in the Adriatic Sea? The first research on wave statistics in the Adriatic Sea was performed by Tabane, 1974. By analyzing visual observations and reports from meteorological, naval, and merchant ships, he developed a rough description of the waves in the Adriatic. Today, however, we have a complete understanding of the waves in the sea thanks to the development of various wave measurement tools, satellite data, and wave models. Today we know that the Adriatic Sea is characterized by waves with a height of 0.5 to 1 meter. The Adriatic Sea is usually calm because more than 75% of the total number of waves is less than 0.5 meters high. The largest waves recorded in the Adriatic Sea is in the northern part. The height of the wave reached to 10.8 meters during an extreme event. The occurrence of sea states with significant wave heights greater than 4 meters is rare, while significant wave heights larger than 5 meters were seldom encountered by a merchant ship in the Adriatic Sea. A significant wave height is traditionally defined in physical oceanography as the mean wave height of the highest third of the waves. In the Adriatic Sea, there are two main types of wind. What are the differences between the waves that these winds induce? A bora is a cold, gusty, and often violent wind that blows from the northeast. Bora is characterized by its short fetch, approximately 100 kilometers, which leads to young and steep waves with a period of 5 to 7 seconds. Wind speed, wind duration, the length of time the wind blows, fetch, or the distance the wind blows in a single direction all influence wave height. A fetch is the area of ocean or lake surface over which the wind blows in a constant direction, thereby generating waves. Sirocco blows from southeast to northwest, acting along a much longer fetch, extending up to 750 kilometers along the central axis of the basin. Since it was less violent than Bora and generally associated with stable air-sea conditions, it produced the highest and longest waves in the Adriatic Sea, with typical periods of between 7 and 10 seconds. For example, in the vicinity of Palagrua Island, the maximum wave height is 8.4 meters during Sirocco and 6.2 meters during the Bora have been observed. Indeed, a wave is the sound of nature and the interaction between air and oceans. Listening to waves is relaxing and enjoyable in the Adriatic Sea.